It is absurd that Scream is a direct sequel to 4, not a reboot or re retcon. And they aren't using 5 in the title. I want you guys to answer George's question. Would you rather Scream 5 be a sequel or would you rather it be a reboot? And I think it's kind of both. I think it's... Because I th everything that happened before is still canon. Which is good because we all want our favorite characters to come back, right? We want... Uh, we want Sydney to come, come back. We want Dewey to come back. We want Gail Weathers to come back. So, yeah, I mean, it makes sense. Um, I, and I, Plus, um, money and marketing-wise, it's more risky to reboot and recast those. Like, what do you do? Do you recast those characters? Or do you just go, a complete, you know, just go with a completely new story, new characters? Kind of like they did with... Uh, with Scream Season 3, you know? Like, I, I went into Scream Season 3, uh, before I saw it, really pissed off. Because I wanted them to finish the story of uh, Season 2. They didn't. But but the, the nice thing was, after I got through watching Season 3, I actually enjoyed the hell out of it. I liked the, the urban setting uh, there. It was a little bit grittier, a little bit darker. I loved the character of Beth. Oh my god. Um, have have you guys seen Scream season three? Are there any of you that have not seen Scream uh, seen Scream season three? Because I really enjoyed it, uh, and then I, that can be a controversial thing to say because I know some people hated it, but I liked it. I did. I had a good time with it. And I correct me if I'm wrong, but didn't they have lesser ep episodes in season three than they did season one and season two? It's been a while. I don't know, but I reviewed those like I think when season one and season two first came to MTV or. Where did they come to? Was it MTV? Yeah, they came to MTV. So a few of you have not seen season three. I would highly, highly recommend you check it out. I am dead serious. Um, and they go back to the the uh, the old school ghost face mask. You know, you don't have that weird looking mask that they had in season one and season two. So, uh, but uh, uh, Blue Eyes says she doesn't like uh, the TV show, or he. I don't know if Blue Eyes is a girl or a guy, but. Um, I like the TV show. I think they're fun for what they are. You know, they're fun. Um, and I'll even say, like, I like the the TV. Like, I I think I prefer all three series uh, seasons of the television show over uh, Scream Three. You know, and maybe Scream Two. Right? What's up, Nick? How you doing, Nick Cooling? In the house. In the house. Okay. Terrible acting. Well, I mean, we're talking about a freaking slasher movie, okay? And also, I don't think the acting was that bad. It's been a while, though, since I've seen it. You, I mean, you could be wrong. I mean, you could be right. If loving you is wrong, I don't want to be right. Okay? There we go. Let me take a drink. All right. I mean, we're already we already in the Scream News, okay? And by the way, guys, after I do these DD Lives, if it's a news story and I think it's kind of, you know, big news, important news, I'll clip it out, Okay? I have a playlist on my channel called um, DD Live Clips. Okay, it's right there on the on the, the front Drum Dums page. Uh, I got a playlist there. And I'll, I'll clip it out. So that way you can go, if you don't want to watch the whole two-hour stream, you can go directly to uh, that particular part of the stream. I'll, I'll just clip it right out, you know. And I always end up getting more comments in those anyway. And probably more views usually. So, because people don't like having to search, you know. And I could, and I could, I could put like... Um, um uh chapters chapter stops and i used to do that but it kind of did nothing anyway so it was kind of pointless for me to do chapter stops and so then i was just like why don't i just clip these out you know clip it out put a new thumbnail on there boom boom okay yeah yeah george i'm i'm excited for new candy man too man uh well they mentioned halloween kills and scream 5 i hope so um isn't that different studios um, guys, what studio is Scream 5? Isn't it... Um, well, it'll probably tell me in the news story. Let's go to the news story, okay? I'll tack on my urban legend argument on here, too, I guess, since we're talking about Scream. All right, here we go. Scream 5. Behind-the-scenes pictures show new look at Ghostface. And uh, this stuff came out... Uh, I guess this came out three days ago, but remember, like, a week ago, they had, I guess, the opening title i guess the font the logo of scream what it looked like and uh it looks like the scream logo okay it's kind of blue but yeah all right behind the scenes photo 
uh, have given Scream fans another look at Ghostface, the fifth installment in the horror franchise, recently completed post-production. So it's done, guys. It's in the can. All right, it's ready to go, which means, let's see, it comes out in January, which means we should be seeing a trailer. Um, August, September. I think we're going to see a trailer either September or October. That's what I'm thinking for Scream. What do you? I'll let you guys guess too. What do you think? I'm thinking September or October. Um, behind the scenes photos have given Scream fans a close look at Ghostface, the fifth installment in the horror franchise known simply as Scream, recently completed post production. The new film comes 11 years after Scream 4 and will reunite original cast members Nev Campbell, David Arquette, and friends Courtney Cox. Uh, the Scream franchise has proven enormously successful, becoming a box office draw and a cult favorite of horror lovers. The series mostly concerns a series of grisly murders uh, in fictional Woodsboro committed series. Did they call it? Se- Are they talking about the entire run and not just this movie? Committed by a slasher or slashers wearing a ghostly mask, reminiscent of Edvard Munch's 18... Hey, if you haven't done my Scream 10 questions yet, pay attention right here. That's This is this is on the test, okay? Here, let me knock on the uh, wood. That's what the teacher does when there's a... This one's on there. Reminiscent of Edvard Munch's 1893 painting, The Scream. The ghost face costume masks the identity of killers Billy Loomis and Stu Mocker. Stu Mocker. Uh, in the original 1996 film and was adopted by all subsequent killers in the sequels. MTV did not use the famous ghost face mask for their 2015 Scream spinoff TV show, but opted for a similar ghostly white mask. Okay, so new Instagram pictures from Greg Russell have revealed a new look at Scream's ghost face mask. Uh, if I scroll back up here, I can show Yeah, that's that's the mask. It looks like the ghost face mask that we all know and love. So, um, it do, does it have a burnt right side? Nope, it does not. Okay. Okay. Uh, pictured is the film's post-production team completing sound engineering work on an extreme close-up shot of the mask. The color palette harkens back to the original film's look with a bluish hue and a slight hint of red. Uh, perhaps a reflection from a bloodied knife. Did I see a hint of red in there? Let me see. I don't see red in there. Do you guys see red? Am I colorblind? I don't see any red. Bullshit. Okay. Um, further pictures capture the team proudly posing in front of an iconic villain and completing work on the end credits roll. Uh, the behind the scenes pictures reinforce that the original Ghostface mask will be returning after it was revealed in Scream's logo. Another return. The end credit roll font is the same as the one used in the 1996 film. Eagle-eyed fans will notice another shot in the uh, in the Instagram post seemingly of a young woman using a smartphone, which, uh, of course, you're going to see that. Ghostface famously communicates with his victims over the phone, taunting them with horror movie trivia in a draw voiced by Roger L. Jackson. I'm really excited that Roger L. Jackson's returning. Uh, these new pictures of the upcoming Scream will be welcomed by fans of the franchise. The return of the iconic mask and recycling of originals credits fonts credits font prove that the film has an eye towards nostalgia. Um, this is the first film in the franchise not to be directed by Wes Craven, rest in peace, uh, who passed in 2015 damn i still remember the day he passed uh so his legacy has been entrusted to new directors ben um uh bettinelli open and tyler gillette uh, who previously helmed thriller ready or not that de- that definitely has me excited the scream revival is coming at a very good time for horror hounds with body swap horror freaky and fear street proving slashers still yeah uh, slashers are definitely back in full force uh and, and you definitely have to give credit to halloween 2018 too i mean that pretty much kicked the doors open for slashers again and it i'll even give credit to strangers pray at night even though pray at night wasn't a box office hit um it's still i think strangers pray at night has gained a cult following 
Like, I see people talking about it all the time still because it's a really fun, good slasher. And it has one of the best final acts of, like, any slasher I've seen in a, in a while. Quite a long time, actually. So, yeah. Uh, Kevin Riley says, Always remember the original killer in Friday the 13th was Pamela Voorhees, not Jason. Don't make the same mistake Drew Barrymore did. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm really curious about that opening scene. You know, because the opening scene of the original is so damn iconic. And, you know, you have to make it count with the opening scene in Scream. That's a big part of what makes Scream so fun. You know, just the the cat and mouse of the opening scene. It's not a killer just bluntly attacking a victim and killing her or him quickly. No, this is a killer that likes to play, you know. Um, yeah, that that is part of what I love about Scream is it's not about the kill it's about the leading up to the kills because you could say that scream is not known for the kills at all it's literally just a stabbing of a knife you know and i don't think that's what um um wes craven and uh uh what's what's the writer of uh scream cat is it kevin help me out guys damn it i don't think that's what he he uh intended though is it to be about the kills yeah there's gonna be kills but you know it, it was more about the lead up to the kills you know and i can't believe i am drawing a blank on the the writer's name like it's insane that i'm drawing a blank on his name and he he had his fingerprint on every kevin williamson thank you very much sean g kevin williamson there you go man i've said his name like nine thousand times in my youtube career so Scream Five. They didn't really talk too much. I mean, they're of course they're keeping the uh, the plot uh, really close to the vest, as they have done with every Scream movie, and I like that. Um, and I think the the Scream trailer. I think they're going to do a good job with the trailer, just because of the nature of Scream and how secretive the plot always is. You know, I don't think they've ever made a Scream trailer that gave away too much. At least the first trailer. So. I think that's what's going to happen here. I think we're going to, and I, I'm really excited about that trailer. I can't wait to see the Scream trailer. It's going to be fun. That's the big thing about Scream. Yeah, Scream's not my favorite franchise, but it's fun. It's really fucking fun. And, you know, if anything, that's what I love about Scream. So, uh, love you too, Zoe. Chris, what's up, brother? I'll say it 10,000 10, times. Kevin will show up in your YouTube stream. <laughs> yeah. Um, he will read whatever's on that teleprompter. Okay. All right. Urban legend. Get your tomatoes ready. Okay. Um, I have some. I, I broke it down for you. Okay. The the things that I love about urban legend. Okay. And I'm still not sure if I prefer it to scream yet. Okay. I'm still. I'm pondering it. Okay. I'm working it out in my head. Um. And just to, just to rip the band-aid off, everybody in the chat, I want you to write which one you prefer, okay? And I, and I know I'm going to I'm gonna hate this, but go ahead and write what you prefer. Write either Scream or Urban Legend, okay? And I'm, I, I'll be shocked if I even see one Urban Legend, okay? But I'm a rebel, okay? I'm a rebel like that. Um, and I, like I said, I'm still not sure. I'm still figuring it out, okay? Because both movies are very different, which is one of the reasons why I like Urban Legend. It didn't, like straight up copy screen you know h2o copied screen more than urban legend did you know let that let that sink in okay scream 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 boom don morton gets it scream 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 <laughs> jesus this is not gonna be this is not gonna be good <laughs> can i take it back <laughs> urban scream there you go uh meet it halfway Thank you, Yasuka. Yeah, Rebecca Gayhart is the goat female slasher villain. Scream, 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 Erica. Yeah. Okay, um, you know what? I'm ready to take my lashings, okay? David Thorson gets it. Okay, here we go. I know what you did last scream. Okay. All right, let, let, me, get my, let me get my notes here. Okay, hold on. Okay. All right. Uh, and, and by the way, spoilers, okay? If you haven't seen these two movies, then you might want to duck out for like five minutes, okay? You have been warned. All right. 
let's jump to the I'll jump to the biggest reason why I might prefer Urban Legend over Scream, okay? The killer. I love Brenda. Is it Brenda? I think it's Brenda, right? Is it Brenda Bates? Let me, let me check and see. I think it's Brenda Bates. Yeah, Brenda Bates. Okay. Um, it, I love Brenda Bates just because how batshit crazy she was. And yeah, of course, Billy and Stu were fucking crazy as hell too. But I think I like Brenda because I didn't see that coming whatsoever. And I liked that it was one killer and not two. And I remember when I first saw Scream, I did think it was brilliant to have two killers, but also I thought it was kind of cheap because how are you going to guess the killer? Because most people are going to try to guess one person. But when you're trying to guess two people, it's it's almost like the filmmakers are, they're making it impossible for you to guess both killers, you know? Um, I like it when you get just a full-on surprise at the end of the movie because with Scream, you, you, you're probably going to get one of them, right? You know, and then so by the time it's revealed on the second killer, you're not as shocked. You know, you're just like, okay, yeah, that, that's cool. Uh, first, first Scream, I was shocked that it was two killers. But then you expect it with every freaking movie. And, and I think it kind of hurt Scream 3 because you had one killer. You know, so it's kind of all over the place. It takes the believability out of it a little bit. And I tend to prefer whodunit slashers that have one killer. I don't know. That's just me. I like single killer slashers. But I think Scream wrote themselves into a corner because now, I mean, do you guys think there's really going to be one killer in Scream? I, like, do they have the balls to give us one killer in the new Scream movie? Do you think that's going to happen? Let me know in the chat, okay? I need you guys to stay on your toes, all right? If you're not, you're going in the corner five minutes. I swear to God, okay? I want them to have the balls to give us one killer in uh, the new Scream movie. Okay. But um, Brenda Bates, too, she had, she had a good reason. You know, her uh, her boyfriend, I, wasn't her boyfriend killed in like a car accident or something like that by some college students? So she just lost it. But got to give big credit to Rebecca Gayhart too. I mean, I liked her performance because... You have to give a performance that um, is kind of two-sided, you know? Like, she, her performance was so good that by the time the reveal... Shut the fuck up, Donnie. By the time the reveal happened, um, there was no way you could guess it because her her, her, her performance before uh, was completely different than by the time you found out she was the killer, you know? She was able to, like, flip the switch, I guess, you know? And it's like once she went crazy, there was no turning back. There was no turning back. Also, another reason is I like the look of the killer. I've never been the biggest fan of the look of the ghost face killer. That's just me. I've never been the biggest fan of the look of the ghost face killer. He's okay, but he's not scary at all to me. And that's a big thing for me is I'm not looking at the chat because I know you guys are uh, probably fucking throwing tomatoes at me. No, I'm, I'm serious. I'm looking at you guys. Okay. But, um, um, for me, I like a killer to look scary, you know? Um, like, uh, like the killer in the prowler. He looks freaky. Uh, Cropsy from the burning is really, really creepy looking. Jason Voorhees is hella creepy looking in a lot of those movies, especially part two. That's part of, that's one of the reasons why I love Sackhead Jason so much. He's, creepy as fuck uh and but then when you get Ghostface, when Ghostface is like you know coming in from the shadows or when he like runs across the hall behind the victim it doesn't scare me it's just like oh here he comes you know it's more the reaction of the victims in scream that make it work that make it a little bit scary than the actual killer himself so that that's the big thing but brenda bates uh, and just the, the the urban legend killer, I liked with that like um, it looks like the thing, like the the thing, uh, parka jacket. It's creepy looking because inside the the hood of the uh, the jacket, it's just black. It's just complete blackness because I think she has like this this black cover over her face, 
And you got to admit, every time you know that killer reveals themselves, it's it's pretty damn creepy. You know, it it, get, it gets me every time I watch Urban Legend. Every time this, the killer comes on screen, I'm like, that's that's I'm like Leo DiCaprio in uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I'm like that right there. That that's that's creepy. I'm trying to whistle. There we go. Yeah, that's creepy. Okay, so that's my second reason why I think I might prefer, but I'm not sure, Urban Legend over Scream. Okay? No, Lee, don't you weasel your way out of this, okay? You hear me? You do not weasel your way out of this. You stand strong. You 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 stick to your opinion. If you really prefer Urban Legend, then you tell them that you prefer Urban Legend, okay? You don't... I See, I'm turning into Brendan Bates. I'm starting to freak out, okay? No, I can't do that. I can't let them know. I have to conform. I have to uh, love Scream like every fucking body else does. That's what I got to do. No, Lee, don't you dare do that. You stick to your convictions. Okay. Yes, Joe Sergeant. Okay, here we go. All right, next next reason, and if I start having a mental breakdown, it's because uh, I like Urban Legend over Scream. Okay. Um, oh, here's a, here's a good one. I got a good one for you guys, okay? It doesn't depend on another horror property, Okay. What does Scream do? And it's good at it. Scream has fun with this idea. It talks, you know, it mentions a lot of other horror properties, you know? Uh, it talks about, you know, if, if they uh, if they watch Prom Night, they'd save time. It, it, you know, it talks about Last House on the Left. It talks about Halloween. It talks about Friday the 13th, Exorcist. Uh, yeah, I was watching The Exorcist last night and it got me thinking of you guys, you know? And it's fun. I love that stuff. It's great. But um, um, I like that Urban Legend really kind of stands on its own it doesn't um the like lean on other pr- horror properties to either a get laughs or get scares uh it it, it does its own thing it has it has its own voice um and so at the end of the day you remember Ur- urban legend for just that plot you don't remember it for it pointing at other horror properties okay maybe this should be an ongoing theme i i come up with a like a controversial opinion because I have a lot of controversial, stupid opinions. And uh, I try to, like, uh, talk you guys into uh, into uh, coming over my... Are you going to go my way? And you're not going to do it anyway, but it's fun. It's a fun discussion. Okay. So. I'm trying, though, guys. Okay? I'm out on a limb. All right? <laughs> okay. Um, I think that's all I got. I do like... I do... And actually, that's not all I got. I really like the cast, too in uh urban legend you know i I like jared leto in there um uh rebecca gayhart is amazing um what's the what's the redhead's name in there well you never see her in anything she was in uh, mr holland's opus but she she was great i liked her in there you got the freaking legend robert england in there that was awesome yeah namer gets it yeah uh yeah robert england was in there so it's a really solid cast um uh pacey from Dawson's Creek, Joshua Jackson. Yeah, Joshua Jackson. A lot of it's got a really strong cast. Alicia Went. Thank you very much, uh, Rob. Yeah, Alicia Witt. Alicia Witt. There you go. Team Pacey. There you go, Beth. Beth, good. See, she's already coming around. She's already coming around. Daniel Harris is. Oh my God. Yeah, like freaking. Are you not convinced yet? Come on, guys. Seriously, are you not convinced yet? Daniel Harris is in there. Okay, that's awesome. You know, Daniel Harris is at the age um, like where that she would have been in Halloween 6 had she got the part for Halloween 6. But, uh, yeah, I love the cast. I might prefer the cast over screen. I might. I just might. Don't let them sway you, Lee. Don't you dare let them sway you, okay? You stand tall. You stand strong. Nobody meets the world halfway. You want it? You got to take it. Does anybody want to arm wrestle? <laughs>